Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am back today with another plan with me in my A5 ring planner. And um, this is a special week because I am doing a collab with the Hen House. Her name is Heather and she is here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below and you will want to go and watch her um, video of this collab and subscribe to her channel and um, comment on the video when you complete it. And um, we are both doing a little giveaway. So I will give you all of the details about that at the end of this video. First, we are doing, um, I want to go ahead and pull my inserts out, but we are doing the week of March 21st. Um, it's hard to believe that March is almost over, March 21st, um, to the 27th. So let me pull those out and move my planner. And then um, before I go in to the plan with me, I am going to be using a kit this week from the So Cute Planner subscription box, the March subscription box. Actually, we're both going to be using this kit in the collab. So I will show that to you. But first I wanna show you the kit that you can win if you stay for the whole video and follow all the directions. This is also a kit from the So Cute Planner um, March subscription box. And it is a six page kit with super cute details. And um, I don't know, it's just very rustic and, and fresh. So it has the lemon theme. So you get a sheet of the full decorative boxes. And then you get a sheet of half boxes and quarter boxes. You get um, some of the headers, some more flag boxes, some bildu. Then you get a sheet of icons, um, your trackers, your checklist, Monday through Sundays, and two top threes. You also get um, the full week of the um, days of the week, the date dots, and some washi strips. Then you also get um, some glitter headers, some scripts. I don't know what I got on that. And also some of the cute, so cute planner people. Um, weekend banner, and then a full page of the full checklist boxes. So that is the kit that you can win from me on my channel. And this giveaway will close on March 27th, and I will post a video on March 28th um, of the winner. So stay tuned for how you can win this cute kit and then let me show you the kit that I am using first let me show you the washi um, you have two of the small bow washi the orange and the blue you have some lemon washi and then um, each one is got some like a glittery shimmer I don't know if you can see that or not but um, and then, put this lighting up just a little, you have um, some bow washi with some swirls through it, and then the larger big bow washi. So I will be using those with my kit this week. And this is a super cute kit. It also came in the March subscription box for So Cute Planner. This kit is big enough probably for me to use a couple weeks. You get a sheet of um, some deco. You get some 
flags and some overlays with the silver foiling. Then you get some silver foiled quotes. You get a little sheet of deco. You get a sheet of the four girls and you can choose which one to use. I have no trouble using all four of them so I will probably use these, intermix them with some of my other kits and, um, and that's really cute. You get a full box of the decorative um, photo pictures. You get some half box and some quarter boxes, some bill dues, some of the little um, headers. You get a sheet of habit trackers, checklist, top three, Monday through Sunday, and some icon dots. You also get the days of the week and some cute washi. It's like a watercolor um, washi. I don't know if there's, I think those are daisies. You get the date dots and then you get some scripts and the cute, so cute planner people, weekend banner and some glitter headers. You also get a full sheet of the full checklist boxes. And then I just went through my Happy Planner quotes books and um, picked out some quotes that might go with this week. And um, I'm going to kind of inter disperse those through this week. So a lot of, a lot of um, pages in this kit to use. Um, the first thing that I usually do um, when I plan in my A5 planner is to white out the things that I don't use, which is these little bold boxes down at the bottom. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. It is, um, it is beautiful in California, which makes for some wonderful spring days. And so, um, what's the weather like where you are? And tell me in the comments where you're located and what the weather is actually like there right now. I don't know what's going on with this. There we go. I know a lot of people back east have been hit hard with snow and ice this year. So, um, I hope that it is treating you better and you are, it is finally melting. I know Heather at the hen house, um, lives on the far East coast and, um, it's been a pretty brutal, I guess it would kind of be typical winter for them. Um, I don't know that after living in California for six and a half years, if I could really do the um, brutal winters. Um, I have chronic pain and chronic illness, and um, I'm just not the same. And so I don't know. All right, I got those down, got those all whited out. Then I'm going to use some washi and put some washi down. 
Let's start out with the lemons. This is really um, some good washi. Easy to tear. I like to use mine very organically, so I love to tear my washi rather than just cut it. And, um, and so this allows for that. When you have a thicker washi, um, sometimes you can't, you can't tear it. But I always like to do washi in this bottom left corner, kind of cover up some of that other stuff that I don't use. So I, let's see, I've already done this and this. Um, so I could actually put a sticker over that if I need to. I, um, so yeah, let me tell you. So we live in an apartment complex. It's kind of like a row house. It's just a one story building. And as you go across, um, you know, at our front door, if you just look straight down, it's just a one story, um, building that has four apartments that are attached. And, um, and then behind us out back, we have a shed and a really nice, um, patio and a sidewalk and a yard. And it butts up and is separated by a Wood, a wood fence in the back from your neighbors. So I have the last couple nights we have gone outside and the neighbor behind us, which, you know, each to their own, everybody's not going to be like me. And I know that. So no judgment, you know, on, on that in any way. Um, they talk to us, they're friendly, you know, um, you know, we're not close or anything like that. We just are pretty much, I would call us acquaintances. And, um, they recently, I don't know if it's their son, their teenage son that has come to live with them. He didn't, he wasn't there when we first moved in, but now he's, I guess, living there. And, um, and so he's, he's been out back every night in the dark and he's very, very, um, suspicious and kind of peculiar. I would call him, um, he, let's see, he likes, he's like on his phone, which is fine. At first I thought, oh, he's doing TikTok videos. What a, what a cute kid. Um, but there's no like light so that somebody could see him when he's doing a TikTok video. Sometimes I think he's talking on his phone, like maybe to a girl or something. But every night he is definitely out there um, drinking. Well, last night he was, they have a shed in their backyard. Usually he's just behind the apartments in front of the shed. Last night he was behind the shed. Like, you know, you can totally tell he's hiding from his parents. And he's he's obviously drinking. 
and um, he definitely looks like he is under um, 21. So, but you know, in first, the first night I saw him out there, first, my first reaction was, oh, he's doing TikTok videos. And then, you know, watching it a little more, I'm like, no, it's not TikTok videos. He must have a meth lab back there. And I, because he's definitely, you can definitely tell that he's hiding from his parents. And his parents are very kind of different, maybe suspicious a little bit. Um, they, like, they have, all their windows are, like, covered in cardboard, so they get, like, no sunlight inside, and, um, there's been a couple times I've gone out, and Grandma, I guess Grandma lives with them, I'm not sure, she was out back, and she was, like, crying, so then I thought, oh my gosh, they're abusing Grandma, so I thought maybe elder abuse, but then I thought about it again, and I thought, well, you know, maybe Grandma just has some dementia. You know, I never heard anybody yell at her or anything, so maybe I'm wrong in that assumption. So, anyways, so the boy, who is, if I had to guess, I'd say he's about 16 or 17. Um, he needs a haircut. That's the one thing that I notice he definitely needs a haircut he's got a mop of hair like nobody's business but um but anyway so I'm like he's so suspicious out there I'm like what in the world am I supposed to do am I supposed to talk to his parents do they know that he's drinking out back would I want someone to tell me if it was my kids um, because I do have a son and a daughter that are um, older now, 26 and 23. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. So that's kind of the dilemma that we're in. You know, and I talked to Greg. Greg is not as aware, although he is becoming more aware. I'm very aware of my surroundings and the people and um, all of that. It's just... Um, it's just who I am and I don't know. I don't know what to do or if I should do anything or if I should just stay out of his business, you know, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to talk to my people on YouTube and see what they suggest because, um, he's obviously an alcoholic. He um, definitely drinks a lot, and so I'm just, I'm unsure. I'm unsure what to do with about the situation. Should I mention it to his parents? Is it something that I should keep my nose out of? If it was me as a parent, I would want to know about my child. But, um, not everyone is like me. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I like to put washi on Sundays because that's the beginning of the week. And I like to use their washi on Saturday because that is the kickoff to the week. It's the last day of the week. And I think I'm just going to organically tear this. And put some up top yep, like that and there we go but so I don't know what do you think I should do leave me a comment should I um he, whatever he's doing is very suspicious and um, there are a lots of drugs here in the neighborhood that we live in um, like you can smell people smoking weed all the time, which each to their own. We don't get involved in that. We don't, sometimes they sit in their car and smoke it. I guess that's to keep it away from their children, which is good. You know, yeah, keep it away from your children. But 
I don't know. I'm just kind of torn as to what Greg and I should do as far as talk to his family. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. It is, um, when, you know, you don't like to, and that's what's big around here because there is drugs and, you know, somewhat violence and that kind of thing here in our neighborhood. People are very cautious to get involved in other people's business. So, which you can't blame them for the love of goodness. Um. You know, Greg and I have our arguments and stuff, too. I wouldn't want somebody getting involved in our business, either. But but still, he is um, just a young boy. And um, and I'm just not sure what we should, what we should do. So I'm just putting some glitter headers down just as a little bit of deco. And then I will pop on a piece of, I think I'm going to put one more blue one on there. I will pop on one of the full picture boxes. Let's see. It's Monday, so let's do the coffee. So anyways, what do you um, think that we should do? Or should we just stay out of it? Um, you know, you don't want... I'm a recovering alcoholic, so... I wanted someone to help me when I was going through everything I was going through and trying to get sober, I needed help. Um, I couldn't do it by myself. And, um, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. It's just, um, I think I'm gonna layer this. We'll put oh, let's do it this way. It's just um you know, and then if we do, you know, become involved or talk to his parents or whatever, you know, he's probably gonna know it was us that narked on him. And I don't want that for him, you know, I don't want to cause trouble for us. But, but yeah, that's just, um, that's where we're at with that. Oh, that's not very straight. Let's straighten that out a little. Oh, no, we can't take that off. But, um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at with that. I don't have a lot planned for this week. Um, therapy that day and then I 
There was a lady on a website that Greg and I are on, or on a Facebook page, I guess I should say, that Greg and I are on. And um, she posted that she had a bunch of... She has a bunch of succulents and stuff. You know, um, she's trying to learn to, is it called propagate them? Um, start them to grow in a different pot and expand her and so she has a bunch of starts of um, succulents so I responded to her post I'm like do you happen to have any of the them left you know I would love I love succulents especially in California because um, everything it is so hot here that it's hard to maintain um, a garden or flowers you have to water constantly like twice a day so and that's not something that I'm great at but so I contacted her and she gave me her address and her cell phone number today and said, why don't you stop? I have some on my porch. I'm going to have some lay down on my porch, some small ones and some in big pots. And she said, you just take what you want. So super excited for that. Can't wait to get some more succulents. Um, I'll have to record our... Um, so this is the weekend. Let's put this little, I don't know what she calls her. The little, I call, we call them a little chubby, a little cherub. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to go there before I go pick Greg up from work and pick up some succulents. I'm super excited about it. Which, I mean, you can buy them, but, um, but when you can get them for free, that's even better. Um, let's put a little deco here. And um, so yeah, we are going to let's see if I can find a quote here that we can put down. Take time to make your soul happy. And you see how that I can put all my to dos over here. We can put our schedule over here. Whatever comes up. Um, if I just decorate this corner, then. Um, then that's good. Now, let's see if I can do this. Let's put some glitter headers across the top. I don't know if I should use, I think I should use the same color instead of two different ones. Cute. Oops, going the other way. So anyways, yeah, I am anxious to hear what you all think about the neighbor boy and what we should do. Um, very anxious to, um, 
to hear what you think. Before I used to not know what, what to do with glitter headers. Now I just pretty much put them everywhere just to add some flair and a little more deco. I'm actually waiting on um, an Amazon order. I think I got three things coming from Amazon today. And, um, and I have a package coming in the mail. Um, my nail stickers are coming from Color Street. And I am having a Color Street party this week. If you are interested in getting some of the nail stickies that stay on for 14 to 21 days, um, leave me a message down below and I will get you hooked up. Because these are the best thing ever. I do not have to do my own nails. I mean, I do, I do not go to a salon. I do my own nails. And so it, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. And I always look like I have a nice manicure and everyone thinks that I've been to the nail salon. So on Sunday, I have, it is trash day, and it is, it's the day that I do our planning. So let's do one of these boxes. I think I'll put it right here, just as a little to do. And we'll put planning time. And then let's see if we have a garbage can. Yes, we do. You see this one right here? I thought it was garbage. It's popcorn. It's like for movie night. And yeah, your girl Ginger thought that was garbage with garbage sticking up out of the can. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm crazy like that. know if this one will fit. I might have to. There we go. And we will put that right there and we write in um, trash day. Take the trash out. So that's on Sunday. And even though this orange doesn't go with it, I have to have a EKG, so I had to go ahead and put it down. Um, this is Monday. Monday I like to put down, so let's put one of these little boxes here, one of the little paper clips. And let's put a coffee cup because I may as well get me a coffee before I go get an EKG. Why? Mm, yeah, just because. And we will put down one of these stickers that say, but first, coffee. So there's that. I think I'm going to use I wonder if I don't I've never I don't use overlays much. I think if I use one here it will just kind of frame her face. Oh, but I gotta have it on there just right. So add a little article to it. I'm 
Okay, splashy lasers. Oh no, they're just little flags. They're cute. Then, so that's Monday and then Tuesday. Um, let's put one of these little roses. Oh, right there. I don't know what those are supposed to be. They look like garlic bulbs to me, but I'm not sure. So that's Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I wonder if I can lay some deco across this. I, want, I think it's too thick, though. Yeah, it's too thick. Um, let's and the twenty fourth is a payday. So this isn't, yeah, it has the money sign there. And we'll use one of these. Put it there. So then I will also need a couple of these bills due. To go here. And this is Friday, so yeah, I'll probably get a coffee. Because in my planner, my I use the opposite sheet as a sometimes a to-do list. I always like to put. That's why I pulled these. Um, that's why I pulled these quotes. Uh, let's put dreamer. to put them on the opposite page.
then let's see. I don't really use trackers. I do want some of these. Um, I know I need one of these work stickers and this so that I can put down where great works for the week. Um, I'll put it over here. And let's see, this week he's at Concord. So next week he's at Antioch. So he will be in Walnut Creek. Checklist for Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday the 25th, I usually put a checklist on Fridays. checklist on Saturday. So, there you go. Let me... I don't think I'm going to use these quotes this week since I pulled the yellow ones. Um, so we will have those still to use and these. So I used up one sheet, Happy Planner quotes. I used up that whole sheet and the deco sheet. And then I still have plenty left for another um, another spread. So I have four of the checklists left. I have a lot of the um, icons and trackers and checklists. I have some scripts, and some glitter headers, some little people, a few boxes left, some quotes, and some of the overlays. So I have those left. Let me pop this back in my planner. I also have all these girls left. And then I can show you the week and I will tell you about the giveaway and how to enter. So there is Sunday, March 21st. And then the 22nd, the 23rd. Twenty-fourth is a payday. And then the twenty-fifth therapy. Twenty-sixth and twenty-seventh. 
So that is my week in my planner. Now, let me show you how you can win your own kit from the March sub box from So Cute Planner. Let me show you the kit one more time. Two, three, four, five, and six. So you get six pages of a kit. And in order to win, um, which will end on the 27th, you need to um, watch this video, like this video, leave a comment on this video, and then you need to be a visible subscriber to my channel. You also need to go visit the Hen Houses channel, which I will link down below, and go visit her channel, subscribe to her channel, and um, watch her collab video all the way through, like her video, and then you also need to follow us both on Instagram and comment. There will be a um, giveaway post on Instagram um, linking people to this video. So comment on that um, post so that I know that you are a follower and that's all you have to do to win this cute kit. So, I want everyone to have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I hope it is getting spring-like for you as well. And, um, and I will be back soon with another crafty planner or beauty video.